60 years ago this month, an armistice brought an end to the Korean War. By then, the conflict had lasted for three years, drawn in 20 nations and caused more than a million deaths. In the chaos of the final week, some Koreans were separated from their relatives as families found themselves on different sides of the ceasefire line. Now, the demilitarized zone between North and South Korea. This anniversary comes at a time of renewed tension on the Korean peninsula, but a new exhibition in London looks at the war from an artist's perspective. I've been to see it. Many artistic styles make it into this exhibition, from portrait to sculpture to photography and video installations. The idea is to interpret a long ago conflict and bring the events to life in a new way. It's often called the Forgotten War, remarkable considering that 20 nations were involved. Over the three years of the conflict, there were four million casualties, scarring lives on both sides of the eventual ceasefire line. Now, a younger generation of Koreans, artists like Lee Nam Lee, are revisiting what happened. When I think of the Korean War, I think of hurt and pain, and I feel hurt and pain. The pain of the war is still in all Koreans, and it stays on in their descendants. When I was preparing for this exhibition, I was thinking about the Battle of Sariwon and the people who participated. The title of the exhibition is 60 Years of Memories, and I wanted to put them into my artwork. Survivors of the Korean War are now few and far between, but this exhibition has a unique place for the veterans. And this is a photographic depiction of a wall in the home of one of them, David Kamsler, who was 26 when he was deployed from the UK to Korea. This is actually the medal that he was awarded after the conflict. And his life has inspired more than one artist taking part in this exhibition. I met David uh, about three months ago, and I saw the background of his, you know, his sitting room, completely covered in nostalgic photographs and all that. And I found that very poignant. And I felt if I did a painting of him, something of him will, leave, you know, will stay behind. So, that, you know, that's why I picked him. As the exhibition opened its doors, the real David Kamsler was here to see it. It was a different world, if you like. It was, I suppose, really a question of survival of the fittest in that particular instance. You either got it or you didn't get it. Your either life was charmed or didn't. I mean, obviously, um, from my point of view, there were many uh, occasions where friends of mine just didn't make it. Have you ever been back? No, I haven't been back. Friends of mine have actually procured uh, on their uh, laptops pictures of Saul. I couldn't believe it. It was absolutely uh, like a phoenix rising from the ashes. It was fantastic. Did it make you feel proud because you've played a part in that phoenix? No, I think to be quite honest with you, we were essentially modest to the extent that we didn't dwell upon what we'd done. We assumed that what we did was in the course of duty. David Kamsler, a veteran of the Korean War, we're just coming up to 60 years since the armistice um, that ended the war. And with me now is one of the artists whose work you saw in that piece, Soon Ha Kwon, and also the curator of the exhibition, Stephanie Sung Min. Kim, Stephanie, uh, the exhibition was your idea. Why look back at this terrible conflict in an artistic way? I thought um, it was important to look back and I wanted artists to discover their stories and I wanted to interpret in their ways so that it will leave a positive legacy and also uh, remember the soldiers who came to Korea 60 years ago. Yeah, soldiers from so many different nations, I think that's one of the really remarkable aspects um, of the war. So one of the artists that you brought together was Soon Hak Kwon. Tell me how you began, because the, the piece you put together was the one that I was filmed in front of. It, it's a wall in the home of the veteran David Kamsler. Yes, that's right. Why did you choose to depict him like that? Um, actually, Stephanie uh, has uh, suggested me because she knows my work very well, and I've been shooting... Uh, 
gallery walls and spaces. So that kind of involves, uh, she got an idea for me to make a piece out of his uh, wall. Of, so you went of, to his home, and is this exactly what it looked like, the, the actual wall in yes, his house? Yes, it is, yes, yes. It's full of objects of his uh, own preference and, uh, of course, kind of historic, historical fig, um, objects. And his medals? Of, of course, medals and lots of Diana's uh, pictures, <laughs> yes. Yeah, I, th I think, I think uh, we, we can see some of those in, in the pictures, but clearly um, it, it told a story of his life. Stephanie, how, is, is this a theme in the work of, of a you know, very young generation of mm -hmm. Korean artists? Do you think people in Korea still have a consciousness about the events of so long ago? I think we live with it. We are surrounded by news every day, so we become very immune to it. So I thought it was really important to refresh it, because it's a story about where we f are from and you know what we have become. And does it yeah. feel more real now? Because you know, as it happens, this 60th anniversary comes um, at a really difficult time. Sure. Uh, North and South Korea have barely been out of the headlines for mm. the last few months. Mm. So I thought it was important to readdress it and I think um, the story will be with the soldiers in their very eight, um, late 80s and you know approaching 90s um, it was important to collect their stories so, Nag, what are you taught in Korea, actually, about the war? I mean, is, is, it, is it something that every Korean child grows up with, the story of the war and then the, the division of the country? Yes, of course we learn uh, about Korean War and, and, and throughout uh, the, the army service you learn about the conflict between North and South. But I think um, in, in my generation it's, it's sort of forgotten in a way because it's so a busy modern life in, yeah. in Korea at the moment so uh, I think this exhibition also uh, kind of may uh, give me a chance to realize I mean to memorialize in a way so did you think them. differently then about the conflict after being part of this project than you did before well it wasn't quite realistic in a way uh, the the war it, it isn't over and it's still cease fire and I think throughout this exhibition I had uh, kind of come to a, a realistic aspect of the our nation. Well, it, well, for anyone who actually um, I can manage to see it, the exhibition is on at Asia House here in London at the moment. Thank you both, Soon Hak Kwon and Stephanie Kim. Thank you very much.